Hey, Tom and Brett here with Lawrence Systems, and this is Business Talk. One of the things I've done throughout my life has been in business and have made a lot of mistakes on the way. And one of the things that took me the longest to truly understand and realize was how I hired people. And when I started to really research that, you know, back in the day, I was hiring people because I liked them. I was hiring people because they knew what I knew, but I was missing hiring to fill the gap. When you think about the, the knowledge you have and the, the knowledge your team has, what knowledge isn't there that you could actually hire to fill that gap? What do you think, Tom? This is a huge problem because it's it's a mentality and I, i've seen this and i don't know where this bad information came from but i'll tell you in all my years in business i can't think of any time i would think this to be true is oh don't hire people smarter than you or anything like that any of the best business leaders will tell you always you, you need to hire for people who have skills at different levels and i yeah it's just one of those things it makes the most sense and i was listening to an interview the other day and i laughed hearing harun mir the you know, current president of Thinks Canary. And he said something really funny in an interview talking about how he's built his company up over time and as large as they are. And he says it's hiring all these really talented people. He says he's actually hired so many talented people that he doesn't even fit in. He goes, I, I couldn't even get hired at this company. But that's almost like a fun goal of build a company with so much talent in it that maybe even you don't fit in, even though you own the place. It's something that some people have a hard time. They almost want to hire beneath them. And it's a huge thing that can really constrain your growth because you're not hiring someone who knows how to do something you don't. And this is something I, I get a lot on the channel because I'll talk about something and I'll say, I don't know that. And they're like, well, how do you not have that piece of knowledge, Tom, about Active Directory or whatever it is? I'm right. like, I have a team of people. But how do you employ people who don't know, you know, if you are assigned them a task and what happens if they all left at once? I said, it just never happens. And I would yeah. just hire someone else who knows if, if for some reason, everyone here that is better at active directory to me, which is more than one person, by the way, um, then <laughs> I would, yeah, the, the bar, I mean, I, yeah, I'm not a complete, it's not me. Yeah. I'm not a complete moron when it comes to active directory, but it's not my day-to-day -day usage uh, of what I'm doing. So there are aspects of the job here that I have hired to fill a gap that I have in my knowledge to add it as a component of my service. The other option kind of, Related is going to be where you may want to hire contractors if it's a temporary gap. So you always have to be those determinations of do you bring it in-house? Do you hire a employee full-time? Can you sustain that knowledge? Because sometimes bringing in subject matter experts for one-off projects makes more sense because you can't sustain them when there's not projects. But right. it's so important, though, to hire people that don't just fill the gap, but can be, it's okay. If they're way more talented, you, know, I'm always impressed, you know, when we're interviewing someone and I'm like, wow, they know a lot. I love that feeling of coming away from that. I'm never threatened by it. And I, I know some people are their status. Maybe I mean, a lot of business owners too, over the years, it's like you, I'm sure you have Brett. They're yeah. very threatened by this idea that they could have someone smarter than working there. Oh no, someone knows more than me. I don't know how I can handle this. <laughs> Well, it's, it, you you can be a jack of all trades, but you're not going to be a master at all of them, right? And and you you realize what you know and what you don't know. And unbeknownst to everybody out there, Tom doesn't know everything. I don't know everything. We might have ideas on things, but when you fill the gap and you hire to fill the gap, you make your team stronger, either by doing personality tests to hire people that are a different mindset than you but most importantly, a different skill set than you, because I think it grows that team and makes that team just more um, powerful. Yes. And it's ultimately how you service your clients. You do those determinations. You mm -hmm. also, and we maybe we'll do a video a little bit about this, but we've talked about, I think we have, we've probably done one about process and procedures, yeah. but you also, the way you find the gaps is having a process and figuring out who's going to do each process. That is a, a, a little Thing. I know I've talked about it more than once on my channel. You can dig through my business talks and find it. But it's something to think about. Make sure you have the processes so you know where the gaps are. So that's a little one more component of this. But we go, we always go back to processes, Tom. Why is that? Because I they know, work. It's just, 
because they work, they help, they flow chart this out. So hopefully this little tip is simple. Just get rid of that bad advice that yeah. I've keep I've seen posted more times than I can count of don't hire people smarter than you or whoever says that. I don't even know the origin of that. And it doesn't matter. Uh, the better yeah. way to do it. And you look at huge successful businesses. They hired a bunch of people really smart, filled those skills gaps. It sounds simple, but trust me, don't be threatened by it. Your value sometimes as a business owner is just creating an environment where a bunch of people can get, get along and work towards a goal. That is yeah. uh, another value that you can provide or, or should be providing as a business owner, not necessarily just being the most talented person in the room. That's not necessarily the role. So hopefully that I love makes the sense. Team here. <laughs> I love the team here, Tom, because we do that. And hey, it's a couple days before what, Tom? The end of the year. No. Oh, oh Christmas? <laughs> yeah, it's Christmas. I don't like Christmas. <laughs> he, I'm a Christmas fiend, and Tom, you know, he mm. he, he endures it. I endure it. So, <laughs> Merry everyone, Christmas, everyone. Happy Merry holidays. Christmas. Happy holidays. All those fun things. Celebrate whatever you celebrate, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Bye.